Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more Space Engineers. In today's video, I'll be alone. My brother's actually not uh, playing on the on the world that I've created uh, here at the moment. Uh, but uh, that's okay, because I actually have to show you guys my first flying creation. So that was the first thing that I made, the drone. And you guys saw here that uh, my brother created this ship that has uh, both um, atmospheric and uh, hydrogen engine so it can go up into space and we can potentially start on a little bit of um, uh, asteroid mining with this ship I myself am still uh, trying to plant my uh, feet firmly into the ground and I created this puppy here which is uh, like also a, a transport ship uh, that's basically meant to replace the previous one because we have four uh, storage containers uh, available and uh, on top of that, I try to integrate what I learned with the drone over here, which is an automatic return function. So um, let's take a quick look at the ship that I made. Obviously, it needs a connector then for power. And that is something that is, well, pretty slow. Or we can up our power generation and then put these guys on recharge. Then they'll charge up pretty quickly. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's not something that I can use uh, very uh, often at the moment so once in a while we can we can try a trip like what we'll do here uh, i love this idea it is something that doesn't work uh, in real life of course it's a, a strange uh, bug you could say or or a feature in the uh, the way the mechanics of this game work is that you can put all your engines uh, aimed at the in at an internal spot and they'll still give you the lift and things like that that you want so basically i have engines maybe i should go up here a little bit engines aiming at at like a center spot for the ship um, and uh, it, in all in all directions but i i love this idea of building like an engine core that's then protected by uh, an outside layer and uh, that you can still move in all directions then we have our batteries and a radar so that we can use the return feature over here we get a seat i had a couple of seats that i could test it out a couple of gyros a camera and over here we have our control block remote control block to do that stuff so let's let's get in uh, on the ship and let's uh, take a look at how it works so i can just normally I, i'm not really used to flying but uh, so the thrusters are off and we are actually set at ready to go is that correct i have to press oh that's something that someone told me actually it's a little bit dangerous uh, of pressing p because then all the connectors on the grid that you are in may disconnect so that's something that i'll maybe try to fix at this point uh, let's see here. If I go in here, then press the inventory control panel. Hmm, this. And here you can see that that's basically, I think, when my drone takes off. And so I'll have to find... Yeah, the drone takes off and then it changes everything that's on the grid. And so I think that my connector is going to be this one. Um, so I'll have to put that one in a group probably let's do let's see if i can do that connector transport two let's do save so that should be just this one uh and then uh, i have to go through g put in the groups and i can have connector transport two i'll put that on three with a switch lock and actually normally what i can do is i can make sure that this is correct by taking control of this grid which right now i'm not seeing it why is that i the grids hmm it's not available interesting okay well then i'm going to give it a try by flying it so currently we are locked oh i could i could check it that way uh let's see when i can when I can see the drone take off because I am a little bit worried of course uh, if I would do a, like a disconnect uh, at the wrong time it could throw my little drone that is still doing its cycle it's been doing so for quite a few days it's very cool that it, it works so it gives me uh, a nice uh, base to work from an idea to work from and uh, I love the fact that I've been able to make this and after that uh, so here we go engines are on it's unlocked so i can go in here and then we can see yeah we're still set to locked so if i press 3 i'm now unlocked i can activate my engines 
and we are ready to go so now i can just start flying there we go we have taken control i'm gonna press v to take the outside view well actually i like to have the cockpit view just to know that uh, that we're doing okay and uh, let's head towards iron actually uh, because we uh, if i want to go bigger with this i will definitely need with uh, space engineers for my next project i will we'll need a lot of iron uh, although i think the next thing that i want to make is going to be a uh, a mining ship uh, so a ship that has like uh, mining capabilities and transport capabilities try and make like a little bit of an atmospheric all-in-one here but here we go uh, if i press alt and then move the camera we can look around so we get plenty of lift with the two big engines uh, on top and then everything else is a couple of small engines but you can see that we pretty smoothly on this battery power uh, make our way towards our waypoints and so there it is so let's see here uh, slow it down a little bit because we have a decent amount of drift uh, we can we can head in a little bit closer and then i think my c button is to go lower let's do that let's try to align ourselves and an unknown signal shows up i, I want to focus on what i've built here so let's just slowly head towards our waypoints there's our mine as well so you can see that that's our exit so i kind of want to try and set myself down right next to that i think we can go a little bit lower and now we can just edge ourselves nice and close to the mine that ought to be good so let's see if i can just go down until we get a touchdown if i can notice that or feel that yeah here we go we landed so i'm turning the engines off i'm turning the uh landing gear is locked and here we are so the mining ship is now landed this is at the exact same height so that works perfectly and what i can do now is grab my miner and we have iron down here so let's get started on press l on this mining trip here and take these resources i'm just going to fill up even if there's stone amongst it not too worried about that i think that's already hitting ice so we'll move our way down and we are full and this one is set up quite nicely so uh, after a while you do learn that um, you can basically not move straight down but at a slight angle and that gives you the advantage well we can always use ice to be honest and then quite a bit of iron that's good so first batch is done let's get back in here and take a quick look at the shape of things so there's ice hold on i just jerked the camera around ah there's the gap and i thought i saw some stuff left yeah exactly there we go uh, let's press c and let's work our way down and away like this like that and then with x we go back up here and then over here how much does that fill almost a million liters or is it 900 liters i'm not really sure how the decimals work in the game just yet and then here we have Quite a bit of extra stuff let's pick that up and so that's ice and all right we're gonna go lateral here keep pressing f to pick it up as well let's see if we can spot like a limit to this iron vein for now it's actually pretty sizable aha but there the ice does come in and then we need to go down a little bit let's see about that that's actually pretty good inventory, full. inventory is full but you can imagine uh, if you uh, would then have a mining ship that, that would be able to uh, just mine straight down grab all of that or you would be that much more efficient i think that's basically the next upgrade that i want to do but we're, we're heading for 1.8 so that's okay pretty much half of it into into trips let's see if we can grab a lot of this stuff inventory yep nice so then i can just go back and if i do this together with my brother right this is a lot more efficient as both of us can be doing these trips on to the next uh let's see which way do i want to extend the mine i think i want to bring this wall in and then down as well if i can 
it down. That's really looking like almost pure iron. We are full. And I can make my way back. As the sun is coming up. So uh, is this the last batch for you? Yeah, full iron. Perfect. And we are full. I in fact have a little bit extra. So on the connected ones I think I can move that here then. No, it's in three. Yeah, that's not completely logical. But there we go. That one is starting to be filled. And it's what, I, it's what I'm here for, basically. All of that lovely iron. Let's look at picking up some more stuff here. Perfect. And so for now, you know, I, I kind of want to give you guys this update as well. This is still how I'm mining. So if, I'm pretty sure that a lot of veteran players will be uh, like, oh man, this is really not efficient. You're going to waste a lot of time. But I also do... Oh, look at... We are reaching that limit. Interesting. Uh, I do also sort of feel that uh, for a, ne uh, a more efficiency, I'm going to need a lot of resources. And that as a new player for... Uh, for space engineers you're going to have to do at least some mining like this a decent amount of it in fact uh, until you figure out how you can automate more stuff how you can upscale and 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 make your whoops let's not bounce into the ship too hard uh, and, and basically how you can do this uh, with less time needed but this one is at uh, 2 million at this point. At least that's the number that I'm seeing there. And we get a decent chunk of iron. But yeah, all right. Very interesting as well. I mean, there's still a lot of iron around. But it's definitely not like an endless vein or anything like that either. So we're filling you up nicely. We're, that's good. One more trip and this will be full. So go, go, go. I've think you can just press F well no all right ice is definitely less heavy than all of this that ought to be a good chunk of iron let's also take a little bit more of that down and work on all of that there we go and so now the right side is gonna be full with this and then I'd already done a little bit to the left here. Bit more ice, bit more iron, 1.4, almost halfway full. So this is going to be an interesting mining trip. And then, of course, uh, you'll have to take a look at how the ship flies uh, when it's completely full. So that, that will definitely make a difference. Uh, but that's part of, of the test here, of course, is can we... Uh, have a lift off and and fly decently well towards the base uh, with the full load of iron here so that's going to be the test and then we will of course try to uh, test the auto return feature that i tried to build in so here we go uh, we'll we'll start no actually down from here ought to be more iron on this side as well let's see yeah that's already full so that's definitely more iron better density so we had to go this way i'm actually going to first fill this one up a little bit of ice good chunk of iron practically full we're almost there let's see what we made here oh no 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 again the ice is starting to show up so there's definitely limits interesting so i do really want my next project i think to be uh, one that's gonna solve this problem and so i'm going to be looking for a mining ship that can also detect the ores and i can then basically land on top of the ores and and, and make its way towards this iron at 20 meters grab all of it maybe even filter out the bad stuff not sure what i'll do with that just yet and uh, then, uh, yeah, just fly back up, go to the base, drop everything off and, and make that a cycle. Interesting, because we're going to run out of iron here. I mean, not, not on this trip, but just a couple more and we will run out. And so then we'll have to go look for more resources somewhere else. Was this full? Almost. Let's see if the ice almost. All right. 
minus I. More iron in here, halfway full, perfect. And this really does ought to uh, help us forward quite a little bit for our iron and metal resources for our next projects. So this is definitely not, this doesn't feel like a waste of time, although it's probably lacking in efficiency for a lot of you guys. Moving up. And I could, of course, try to park it a little bit better than this as well. We get a full batch of iron at two... Yeah, 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 we're practically there now, I think. In fact, if I fill up now, that we will be there. So let's see what's all of this. A little bit more iron, just a bit more. Perfect. We are flying. And this is also our biggest cargo ship, you could say, uh, up to this point. As, let's see here, yeah, I got a little bit of iron left. So we are fully loaded with ore. And yeah, it's four, four, car four medium cargo containers, which is not a lot, of course. But it's still the biggest one that we have been able to make here so far. So next up, let's get back on board. And then uh, we have to activate our engines we have to unlock our landing gears one and two then we'll take off we'll turn ourselves towards the base ooh, that does feel a lot more sluggish so <laughs> and ooh, this is definitely a lot more sluggish as we are trying to move towards our base and our docking place so um we can accelerate though, I'm up to 22, 24, we can accelerate, but I can feel how much harder the engines have to work with four containers filled with ore. But I can, I can get up there, but I, I feel like I'll have to like slow down and, and be very careful on my landing on this, which is why we have that remote contro control block. And so uh, let me quickly go there. Normally it's I control panel and uh, it should be programmed. So let's go to the remote control block. You can see that I've added an above dock two waypoint and a dock two waypoint itself with some actions programmed, a, a small speed limit so that we can go pretty slowly and it's a one way trip. So normally if I press autopilot on, there we go. And now the ship is actually going to fly itself. I'm not doing anything here anymore. We're about four or five kilometers away from the base let's press v for the outside look and so yeah i'm not doing anything here right this is now uh, the remote control block that is just underneath my cockpit that has taken over control is now doing its program and is flying me straight towards the base i do think that that is very cool and has a lot of potential for my next ship as well you can imagine that what i could do then is um have it have it mine then whenever it is full i'm not sure if you can program that somehow maybe with timers or something like that and then just tell it all right go back and if i could like build a fully automated mining ship slash drone that would be very cool or if i could just automate parts of the progress process that would be very cool uh, as well and so this is very very doable actually uh, even a noob like myself in space engineers uh, has been able to uh, to do this so far uh, let's hope that the docking works but it's working on the drone so it should be fine here as well basically uh, how the programming of this one works now is uh, fly to a waypoint that's straight straight above uh, the docking point with the connector and then slow down and uh, just descend up until the docking point and there we have a thing just uh, turn off the engines and uh, connect uh, use the connector i think that's how uh, i programmed this one super simple but now i don't have to a worry about finding my base back and b i also don't have to worry uh, about having a good docking cycle because um you know if everything works as um, as planned it's gonna come right on top of the connector and will be ready to go again 
when is the battery is full i'm not sure so we had three on the left battery and two green on the other battery we'll take a look after that for this trip but <laughs> now you can see my engines are working full almost full board they're really doing their best to to have this super straight super steady uh place but it's 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 a heavy load that we are of course carrying back to the base another two kilometers to go Let's take a quick look around here. So we got the lake there. I think we got a lot of resources underneath there, uh, which I kind of like for the idea of my mining ship. Just have to make sure that I've got enough uh, mining area and then that it has the ability to mine straight down. So that's going to be the goal there then. Um, and then we can just basically try to make massive holes rather than our, our little tiny little uh, personal mining holes that we've created in the lake so far to grab all of that stuff. So it is slow i could probably increase the the regular travel speed uh, on this one quite a bit but uh, i, I kind of want to test it out here in basically the safest uh, circumstances that i can imagine and uh, yeah we're heading there let's see what's coming into view then we still have the massive ma massive mountain of course quick look on that one uh, it's really huge and it's a little bit of a problem for our power generation because it's blocking out the sun for uh, quite long periods of time. I added a couple of solar panels to the base just to get that little bit of extra uh, power generation but it's something we'll have to fix probably with ice turning hydrogen into power. But now we are within a kilometer. Uh, if you're looking closely, you can see the drone is flying back to the base now, back to its connector. This ship has its own connector. And then, um, oh, from the cockpit view, we'll pr we probably won't see much, actually. That's true. Um, as we'll fly right above the base. And then we'll go back down. And so, oh, you can see the above dock 2 is a little bit lower than this. So let's see how the ship will handle that. Apparently it's heading, still heading pretty high up, I would say. All right, let's hope that it works. So now we're definitely aligned perfectly, but we're a little bit high, although we're dropping, I think. I think we're slowly dropping. Ah, this is so cool. I'm not doing anything. I'm not flying this ship. This ship is flying itself with all our valuable resources. And yeah, we're, we're descending. We're descending. It's perfect. Very cool. Above dock 2 is now 100 meters away. This is still a reasonable amount of speed. You know, if I had to pilot this manually, I would not be able to do this this well. And so now speed is decreased and we just have to go right back down to dock 2, which is the connector. We land it. Then I think it's in, in five second increments. We are locked and I can get out and the engines are off as well normally. <laughs> so it worked it bloody worked uh, very very cool this is my first ship that i created so a slightly larger transporter with an auto return function if you want to of course you can then also just give that order get out of the ship and uh, go do something else like uh, that uh, unknown signal that was over there I could have gone to grab that or something like that and then we would come back to the base and this puppy would be ready with full cargo holds full and full of iron so mining trip successful transport ship number two uh, works and this one is my design thank you very much for watching guys i'm gonna put all of these resources into the refinery and then we'll get started on our next project thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time